In this video, I want to show you how to install Android on Windows 10 using Hyper-V. I am assuming that you have Hyper-V already enabled on your PC. If not, please take a look at the video in the description for instructions on how to enable it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe so to support my channel. Step 1 is to download Android. In your web browser, go to android-x86.org Scroll down to the middle of the page and click on download. Click on one of the mirrors and then click on the latest ISO release you want. Here I am choosing the 32-bit one. The download starts. Depending on your internet connection speed, the download may take from 5 minutes up to 15 minutes. It's a 726 megabyte ISO file. Step 2 is to create a virtual machine in Hyper-V. In the search box, type Hyper-V and click Hyper-V Manager. When Hyper-V Manager starts, click on New and then choose Virtual Machine. Name it like you want. Here I am naming it Android x86. Click on Next. Choose Generation 1 and then click on Next. Give it at least 1 GB of RAM. Here I am giving it 2 GB because my machine has enough RAM. Uncheck Dynamic Memory and then click on Next. Choose a network connection that has internet access. For instructions on how to create such a connection, watch the video in the description. Click Next. Depending on the free space you have, give the hard disk at least 15 GB of space. Now click on Next twice and then click on Finish. The virtual machine will be created. It takes seconds to create. When the virtual machine is created, make sure it is selected and then click on Settings on the bottom right. We need to make two quick configurations. Click Processor and increase the number of virtual processors to two. This is for better performance. Now click on SCSI controller and remove it to avoid conflicts because Android doesn't support it. Step 3 is to install Android OS and configure it. Make sure the VM is selected and click Connect in the bottom right corner. In the VM window, click Media, DVD Drive, then select Insert Disk. Browse to the Android ISO you downloaded earlier and choose it, then click Open. Now click on Start. The VM will boot from the Android ISO. Choose installation with the arrow keys and press enter. Press C to create a new partition and press enter. Select No for GPT. Go to the new option with the arrow keys and press enter three times to create a primary partition with all the hard disk space. Go to write and press enter again, then type yes so to write the partition that we just created. Now select quit and press enter. The newly created partition will be automatically selected. Select OK as File format select ext4 then yes to format the partition. Select yes for the bootloader and yes again for the writable system directory. When the installation finishes, you need to eject the media that we inserted earlier. So click on media, DVD drive, and select Eject the ISO 
find so not to restart the installation on reboot now select reboot then ok here we have to wait for the VM to reboot press enter on the first option or wait for it to be automatically selected the VM will boot with the Android OS now we will start the configuration I will be accelerating the video throughout the configuration and stopping only on important configurations. On Wi-Fi, wait for it to finish. It might take a couple of minutes. Here, of course, I'm accelerating the video. When it finishes discovering the Wi-Fi networks, of course, it will only find only one. Press enter on the Wi-Fi networks. It will detect one network only which is a virtual Wi-Fi so select it and press enter to continue the configuration the whole configuration takes about 10 minutes so you should be patient choose the options you want and use a Gmail account to log in and continue the configuration As you see here, I'm putting my Gmail account. I click on next and the password. Here I am making the last configurations. Of course, choose the time zone that you're in and choose the other options as you see fit. Almost finishing. And here we have a functioning Android VM running in Windows 10 and Hyper-V. Let's try Google Chrome now and see if it can access the internet. The first time it launches, it will prompt you to sign in. And here I'm testing my website, which is knowledgesharingtech.com. And as you see, it is working. That was it. Please leave me your comments below on your experience using Android on a PC and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.